Are you only saying that because I'm here? No, you're different off of camera. Do you use a higher voice on camera? Really? You're pregnant. Woo! <gasps> Stop the car! You are spoiled. Here's my answer. It's so. okay not to be okay. Welcome back to today's video. Wait, I have welcome my... back to today's video? Welcome to today's video. I've got my dad here. You guys have been loving the videos I do with my dad. If you guys haven't already checked out the video I did with my dad, I did a answering questions girls are too afraid to ask. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So go and check that out and go and check out everyone's channels down in the description. Today we have got answering all of your assumptions of me as well as our family. And let's get on to this. You swear off camera. I do not swear off of camera. Sometimes. <laughs> what? Have you? No. Have you? What? No. Uh... Okay, yeah. <laughs> but it's been a few, few times. Like, it's not a consistent thing, and I've worked really hard to not do it. Father confession, I have too. I feel like everyone does. And I'm once. working on it. We're not perfect. Mm -hmm. Anybody who says they're perfect aren't perfect either because they're liars, because they're not perfect <laughs> either. So, peace. You want to wear shorter shorts and crop tops. Yes, I have wanted to, and I did want to for a while. I, I did wear crop top shirts a lot, but I've gotten into a different style. I'm trying to become more modest, so I like you. I, Are you only saying that because I'm here? No, nope, I pinky swear. I pinky swear to you. See, see. <laughs> I did want to, but not anymore. Dad, don't, aren't you just so proud of me? I'm so proud of oh, you. Oh, he's so proud of me. Your family really does not get along. We actually do. Yeah, and we it's tend weird to, how well we get along, actually. We tend to get along a lot. I don't know if you'd say a lot better when we're traveling, but we get along really well, especially when we're traveling. Because there's nobody else around. Mm -hmm. All we have is us, so why would you frustrate the people you're stuck on an island with? Yeah. That would be no fun. Or in a car for hours. So we get along pretty well. I mean, everyone has their fights, their little tizzies, but for the most part, we get along pretty well. You make a lot of money on YouTube to be able to go on as many expensive trips as you do. Dad! Yes, but it's because a lot of places will actually pay us to go to their hotel mm -hmm. and to post about it. And we actually, when you get a little bit older, or if you're older, you'll understand, there is business write-offs for tax reasons, and so us going on a trip to film and make videos costs us a lot less than it would cost somebody else that goes on a trip just for a vacation. So we don't actually go on vacations. We go on workcations, and we so, yeah, half of the trip is business, and we make the other half of the trip super fun, no cameras, no phones. So yes, but it does cost to go there, but yes, there's a lot of business ways that you can go on lots of trips without it costing you lots of money. And I feel like when we go on the trips, we don't just spend so much money. Like, Mom is pretty frugal yeah. with, like, when we go on trips, we try to find the best deal for hotels um, uh, so that we aren't just spending lots of crazy money. So we still try to be um, frugal as well as smart with where the money goes and not just spend it everywhere. You take for granted that you get that you can get the new iPhone every year. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. She begs us and begs us and begs us. And then again, like the last one, it is equipment for filming. These phones, I actually had the iPhone 11 and uh, I loved that one. It was really great for filming as well as for videos. But when I got it back, it had no storage. I had taken up all the storage and I was really debating actually getting one, but then when the 12 came out, um, it had really good camera. Like I, I use this just as much as I actually use my camera camera because it's got really great lighting. And so I use mine for equipment and just like my dad said, it becomes a business write-off because I'm using it as my equipment for YouTube. And so, yeah. But I had the, I actually had the iPhone 8 and then I switched to the iPhone 7 Plus for a really long time. And I was fine with that one for a while. So it's not, whenever a phone comes out, I'm not wanting to get it just because it's the new thing. It's pretty, it's- She it's, kind of is though, a little bit. 
Okay, slightly. You wanted to quit a lot during social media. You know, I've never actually thought about quitting YouTube myself. Um, there have been a lot of times where it's been stressful, but um, my dad actually mentioned this a while ago. Each job that you get is going to have its ups and it's also gonna have its downs. And so it really, I really have to choose what downs and ups I want to have like what benefits as well as downs. And I think YouTube is, uh, brings a lot of benefits and there's a lot of stressful times. Like we have to work a lot sometimes, but we also get to go on amazing trips. So, so that is why I haven't really thought of quitting YouTube. Dad, have you thought of quitting YouTube? Yep, lots. But he has good reasons for why he's. I'm all about lifestyle. And so if YouTube starts to take away, if the stress of filming or the algorithm or numbers or stats starts to get in the way of our lifestyle and our family getting along, I will push the delete button. And so I wanna make sure our family comes first. And as long as our family comes first, then we will keep doing it. If YouTube ever gets in the way of our family taking care of family, then you will no longer see us. <laughs> and that's why we are still here. Is your dad really bald? No, he just prefers to shave his head. You are spoiled. Here's my answer. Not rotten. Yeah. The difference is, do you give back? Do you give to others? Or do you expect all these things? This little girl works harder than any teenager I've ever met in my entire life. And so she has cool things because of it. Is that spoiled? If you want to call that spoiled, sure. If you want to call it lucky, sure. If you want to call it freaking hard work, you can call it that you too. But call most, it that. most people don't want to because it's uncomfortable to say that. You're different off of camera. I don't think so. I might. You use a higher voice on camera. Really? Hi guys. <laughs> hey. Dad. I've actually noticed that. I would really like to go for the weekend to go do some stuff. Just a second. Let me film this. Hi guys. What? I Just don't kidding. sound like that. <laughs> I do actually notice that I have a much higher voice. Like when I film, I'm like, oh, my voice is a lot higher. But we, we act the same on and off camera. It's been five years that we've been on camera. If we changed for the cameras than real life, that would suck. Mm -hmm. That would be so fake and horrible. Yeah. Ugh. We like to be genuine and, yeah, genuine. Just us. You're really energetic. Dad, do you think I'm really energetic? I think you are when you want something. When you want something. <laughs> Um, I feel like I can be energetic, but I mean, everyone has those down times when we're just meh. I might not be upset or anything. I'm just like down. I just am not. Hi, guys! Hi, guys! You want a tattoo? No, I don't. There's some tattoos that I think look cool, but I would never get a tattoo for myself. You've never kissed a boy. I think my dad wishes. I wish. <laughs> just kidding. I think it's good. Every once in a while, you have to taste trash to know that it's not good. So <laughs> That's very, very true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mean. <laughs> I have kissed a few boys. <gasps> There's more than three? No. Oh, I got a number out of her without her <laughs> even knowing. You put on a big smile when you are sad a lot. You know, no. I don't know if you would say... There's some times when I might be sad and I try to be positive, but I don't fake, um, I don't fake it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta put on a smile. Yeah. And you gotta suck it up, buttercup. You gotta do your stuff. But There's... other times, like Evie is a good example. If you don't watch our other channels, our littlest, our second youngest, when she gets in a funk, she's in a funk for a long time. She can't snap out of it. And I think it's a good human trait to find ways to snap out of it. Clay can snap out of it very quickly because what we said earlier, she finds ways, if she wants something, she can get excited about it and she can turn it around. Some people can't and that's their thing. We give Evie her space, we give her her moments, we let her go and just kind of work, work it out. Raquel takes her time, Shay needs his time, Wyatt doesn't, Cora doesn't, I don't. Mom does. So everyone's different. It's so. okay not to be okay. Do, 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 do. I don't know that song, but <laughs> I'm gonna jive. That's all I'm gonna say about it. You get along with Cora the best. I honestly feel like I do. Do you feel like I do? 
I don't know. Probably, I don't know. Me and Cora, um, I love how productive, how straightforward Cora is because that's partially how I am. I have more emotion in me, but... Cora's a blunt little thing, <laughs> man. And I like it because Cora keeps me on task like when I'm filming because sometimes I get in funks and I don't want to film and Cora will keep me on task and we get stuff done. So, I, so do you mean... You might not want to do it, but you still do it, and it's your little sister that makes you? That's awesome. We're, oh, there's a castle! There's a princess castle. There is a princess what castle right there. What the heck? That's weird. It's like it's on, on top of house. a house. You spend a lot of money. Don't answer. I'm just kidding. Yes, she does. I do. But she but... works her butt off and she earns more than she spends. Mm -hmm. And that's the goal in life. Live within your means. And I'm working on budgeting. Within your means. <laughs> You don't always like being the oldest sibling. That is actually kind of true. There have been times where I wish I had like an older brother or I wish I wasn't the oldest sibling. I'm your older but... brother. I'm just not allowed to beat down the boys that kiss you <laughs> like I did to the guys that kissed my sisters <laughs> because I was the I was the brother and I couldn't really get in trouble for that back then. I'm not allowed to do that because I'm an adult. An adult. An adult. Um, but I... There's perks. There's down downs to it. Clay got into a fist fight once, but it wasn't a fist fight. I don't know if you'd call it a fist fight. What was it? I punched a guy in the nose. You did? Oh, oh no. you did. You did. You totally, you <laughs> knocked him down. It was great. I was proud. The other parent's not as proud. I was proud. She gave him three warnings and knocked the sucker out. This whole video is fake news. <gasps> Dad, you're not supposed to tell them. All your answers aren't true. <gasps> You don't actually act like this. Huh. Um, you hate your dogs. No. You're pregnant. <gasps> Stop the car! Dad! Just kidding. No, I'm not. Okay, last question. You have hit a vape. What does hit a vape mean? Have you vaped? No. I think me not knowing what that even means yep. really should answer the question. Yeah. I've never vaped, and I never plan on vaping. Okay, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and thank you to my chauffeur, I meant father. Yes, you're for... welcome darling. Where would you like to go anywhere else today? <laughs> for being in this video, go check out his channel. He's got some pretty cool videos on there. And go check out the rest of the family's channels down below. And we'll see you guys later.